How the heck are you, everybody? I am Fastidious. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to a video for Dragonair Silent Gods. So, guys, I've been playing Dragonair for quite a little while now. Let's go to the daily check, and I don't know the exact day. 41 days. So about a month and a half, a little bit less than that. I think I've pretty much settled in into, like, what the game is, and I've very much keyed in on where I'm not good. And quite frankly, uh, I'm not... 100% sure, and that's kind of the point of this video. There's two points in this video. We're going to do some big summons, some very exciting gold summons, our Helolite die. And I also want to show you guys kind of where I'm at and ask you veteran players or you players progressing along with me or new players, anyone that has any help, I'm asking for you guys to offer it because I certainly do think I've hit a bit of a wall. And let me kind of just show you. Let's just key, on on, key in on one specific thing here. So I'm on chapter 22 in our adventure missions, our chapters with the chapter rewards. The rewards are so juicy, man. They've gotten ridiculous since the last update. And you'll see over here, it's going to be a Helolite, Master Scroll, that's a legendary skill up, and all this stuff. And the only thing stopping me is beating Ancient Battlefield. This is where you get your negative runes, stage 8 or above. Now, I know I haven't made a Dragonair video in like a week or something, but I'm actually playing more now, playing now more than I ever have before. I feel like I'm really in like that mid-game now. And uh, it's fun because I know what I'm doing, but it's not fun in some ways because I don't feel like I'm very good. So a good example here is the Ancient Battlefield. Uh, this guy, uh, this little shield guy over here, he puts so many buffs on himself, right? So if you view info, you'll see he's placing crazy buffs on, he targets the best thing, and then he gets these 40% attack buffs that stack up. Just crazy stuff. He tire, uh, keeps targeting the back row. His defense is going up, his attack's going up. It's hard to deal with, right? So this is kind of where, maybe just because I'm used to being so deeply in a game, you know, playing so much, and I just play Dragonair, you know, very consistently, but I play for like one to two hours a day, which certainly is a lot, but I haven't lost myself in the weeds and the nitty gritty. A lot of that is just attending to my daily routine. Uh, so I need your guys' help. Because I've checked a lot of, if you guys don't know, let me actually flee the battle. I will say, little thing they could improve, I'd love to exit back to the selector screen instead of like exiting the menu altogether. The menus are definitely strange in this game. But you'll see, we go to bad, Battlefield 8, I can do hide legendaries, and I keep seeing this chick, right? So I'm like, maybe I should build her. If you look at her basic attack, every third basic attack dispels a buff. The boss keeps stacking buffs on himself. I thought this would be great. I built her with a lot of attack speed. That should help the basic attacks. And I was hoping to cycle that a lot. I just five-starred her today. So I could put negative runes on her, get even more attack speed, right? I'm actually running very similar teams to this. I look at their stats. It looks fairly comparable. I think it must come down to my placements. I've also allowed legendaries, and I do have a couple great legendaries. Let's see if they're popping up. No, but one suggested team had Garika, who immediately when I pulled her, if you go back to that video, I thought, oh, she might be great for this because she does block buffs. I also have an epic, I forget her name, she's like an orc lady, she does block buffs, I'll show you her right now. So here's Garika, right, and then we've got this, where is she, this one right here, we have got Fira, she also has like a, a buff prohibition debuff thing, a block buffs. Uh, so I thought I've run many combinations of these. My gear is not bad anymore. You know, if you look, I've got lots of legendary gear. I've got plus 20 artifacts. I've been kind of figuring the game out. You know, I, I do think I'm doing pretty well, uh, but I'm completely hitting a wall here. Maybe I'm pushing too far, but I don't know. So I actually wanted to get in touch with you guys. That's point number one of this video and say, hey, you guys got any hot tips for your buddy Fastidious over here? Because I think it must come down to my placement. This guy has a thing where he targets the person in the back, so I put her in the back since she's fairly tanky with the build I put her on. She's basically tanky with a lot of attack speed. As much attack speed as I could do, I should say. Um, I even put this attack speed artifact on her. And then I put resistance on her, right? It said 170 resistance. That's what they suggested. I put 173. Thought maybe we'd be off to the races. Not at all. I'm struggling so much. Uh, so stage 8, I've completely stalled out. And it's been like this with a lot of pieces of content. I'll tell you some big milestones I've hit recently. I can now 3-star clear stage 12, the final stage of Goblin. That's the same as like 3 Goblin 3 stage 5 before the update for anyone that needs an equivalent. Uh, I can do the max 15 million on the Vortex, the Temporal Vortex. However, I can't do uh, Stage 3. I should say, I'm, I just progressed to Level 4. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I can show you guys that right now. Sorry if I'm a bit all over the place. I really want to catch you guys up. And then I want to explain why I want to do some summons right now. And hopefully we have some fun doing it. You'll see, so I can get 15 million. I got like 15.9. I finally unlocked this. So probably I needed to use fire damage, but I already am using fire damage. My two best DPS are Tonalin and Erish. Um, so I thought I'd be pretty solid here, and I can't even clear the first threshold. I, I think it's 8 million, and I'm putting up like 7 million. So I think there's a lot of things, little things, I'm missing. To be fair, I'm not watching any guides, as I never do. Maybe I have to start doing that, because, you know, I'm not completely, completely immersed hours and hours a day into this game. But I thought it'd be more fun 
just to open up a discourse here and have the chat with you guys. I don't know. Y'all tell me. And if you haven't started playing yet, I'm definitely, you know, going to be playing this game for a while. I am definitely enjoying it more and more now that we're in the second month here. The game really opens up to you. It's strange that it takes so long, but now that it opened up, it's a lot of fun. I will say we're almost halfway through season one, and then it's already becoming scary. You know, I'm going to lose tons of my progress, obviously, when the season resets for season two. So I don't know what to expect. Let me know what you guys think. That's also part of the reason I haven't grinded so hard for gear. I can show you right now what we're working with. You can see there's a decent amount of gold gear. Um, I've sold a little bit, but I haven't farmed like insane, mostly just in Venom, where I think I'm farming stage nine. Uh, it goes up to 12 now. Nine used to be the max. Now it goes up to 12. I'm doing all right, you know, but clearly uh, I have some uh, places I'm falling short. So maybe you guys could help me out or maybe you want to join me in the game. If you do, the link is in the description in the top pin comment. Dragonair Silent Gods is available on PC, on mobile, Epic Games, Steam, all that amazing stuff. I really hope to see you there. It really is a lot of fun. And I will say, it took, at the beginning, uh, people like Rue Greasy were saying, oh, the game, it only, you only have to play like an hour a day. And I was like, that was so not true. I had to play so many hours a day. Now, if I want, I can actually only play like 30, 40 minutes a day, which I think is really nice. It is pretty passive. It's actually an amazing side game. So I'm, I'm enjoying that, that a lot. That being said, days like today, I've played like three or four hours today trying to get that done, as well as a few other things. I did get the goblin done. Uh, but yeah, y'all let me know. I also say the chief challenge, I've put almost no thought into that. Uh, it's not my forte at all. So if you guys have ideas about the chief challenge as well, any tips, let me know. That's basically how much I wanted to catch you up to speed. I figure now we can look at my heroes and then we'll do some summons. Fastidious. Fastidious. Because I think another thing is, I've got good heroes. I do not have very good heroes at all. I've only ever pulled two legendaries. Garika I'm using a lot. She's helped me a ton in arena. I actually got 10th on my whole server yesterday. Uh, she's an arena beast. Anyone you see with, with gear off, that's just because I keep using my preloads for everything. Uh, that's a nice thing about the game as well. You can just basically have a couple good gear sets and they'll be preloaded uh, once you've cleared content and set it up. Set it up. You save your teams. I just five-starred Twitch today, so I'll try to get him in the mix. He's difficult to build because he does poison damage, so you need enlightenment as well as all the other good stuff. Uh, but I'm excited to get him in the mix. I also five-starred uh, Sh Sharlock. He was the other free legendary we got with the update. Maybe he'll be pretty fun. I don't know. You can see, though, I've got a lot of five stars. The team is filling out. But I think I've got some key holes. Like, I definitely need more for these Radiance and uh, Lightning teams. I think I need more of, like, the specific types. Like, I could use more Rally heroes to go along with Hegio. I heard he was pretty good. Um, you can see I have been farming my Heretical Ruins. I finally have gold ones of these. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I think, like, if I could finally get Voresh, my ice teams are weak. Voresh is, like, my most wanted hero. He's an epic. There's a lot of good guys that could really help me out. You know, maybe we hit on some huge legendary. I think that'd be amazing. So I think it's time to do a little more summoning. People like Ivy Lee, she advised me, just save everything for the D&D collab. But to be honest, I want to enjoy myself right now. And I feel like going for heroes is going to be a better investment. Because obviously, all I, you keep your heroes and your artifacts. But you lose all your gear and all your runes at the end of the season. I'm already almost at that halfway point. That will be, for me, it actually is. Because I'm 41 days in and I joined like five days into this server. So I believe this day, this will end on day 85. So I'm like 44 days away from the end of season one. I'd rather be investing in heroes and putting, you know, F energy there and having fun that way than going nuts farming, you know, the different graves and the gear dungeons uh, endlessly. So without further ado, let's do some summons. I've got about 30 Heliolite summons, I believe. Uh, so let's do 20. I think 20 is fine. And let's freaking single pull it. You can't stop me. Let's do these two quick uh, summons of the Starlight die. I believe I'm three five pulls away from Pity, so I don't think we'll be pit hitting Pity here. But it's not too bad. You never know. I actually got lucky and hit two epics on Starlight Die the other day. I heard this guy's pretty good. I think this is Wilt, uh, but I haven't used him yet. Let's do one more now, and let's see. Let's, let's do some skipping. Okay, Megan. <laughs> I do love Megan, but you get to the point where you have most of the rare heroes, and it, it does get a little bit old. Uh, okay, let's do 20 single fulls right now. Or let's see. Yeah, let's do 20. Just an even 20. We're going to take this thing down to 14. I actually should probably check the bonuses. You might be wondering why I'm not doing the selector. I think I want to leave it all up to chance. I think that's more exciting to me uh, to roll the dice that way. Um, let me quickly see. So if we do 20, that will bring us to 50. We'll get these 2,000 artifact level up things. 
Do you guys let me know, do your artifact levels reset on the new season? I don't know that. I know you get to keep your artifacts, but do they go back to level one? I know your heroes go back to level one, but that'd be kind of a drag because these things are super hard to come by. These essence of creation, little gold crystals. Um, let's do one five pull. <laughs> I don't want to do all single pulls. I'm realizing that's going to take too long. People might get bored. I might get bored. Let's see. Whoa! Hitting the gold, baby! Okay! Okay! I, I was just hoping for a good epic. I was not expecting a gold. That is huge. Okay, lots of uh, conversions here. Some dupes. Come on now. Here it is. This is our gold. I only have four legendaries. Two of them are free-to-play legendaries, and then we pull the free-to-play legendary. So I guess we get his soul imprint. This is like his awakening. This is his specific level-up thing when you get a dupe. Let me know. <laughs> I mean, that is a colossal L. That is really sad. I mean, there's so many heroes. We need to fill out our roster. There's so many heroes we could get. We literally only have four legendaries, and we pull a free-to-play legendary. That's the kind of thing that makes you want to quit playing a game, I'll tell you that much. All right, let's do, uh, let's do some single pulls now, because obviously that five did not work well for us. We did hit gold, but honestly, I would have much rather a nice epic like this. Let's see. I, I pull Cyphrus all day. I thought there were a ton of epics in this game. I pull epic dupes nonstop. Voresh is hiding from me. Cyphrus, I believe, is the first or second epic I ever pulled, my very first day on this account. Um, man, that's Sharlock. I mean, veteran players, I mean, maybe, has he been buffed? Because I, I heard he was absolutely horrible, and now we pull him. We get him for free, and then we pull him. What are the odds of that, man? We only have four legendaries in the whole freaking game. Couldn't it at least be Eric, the other free-to-play one that I use every day? That's tragic, man. That really, really stinks. Oh, my God, I'm cursed on my pulls in all different games, apparently. Now we're on a big rare streak here. We're on a little rare heater. Ten more. Ten more and we're already done. Just like that. Oh, that was heartbreaking. I'm not I'm not gonna shut up about this. That really that really that really got my hopes up and that really, really disappointed me. That wasn't cool. I, I didn't like that one bit. Woo! I really didn't didn't like that. Sweet God. Sweet God, that sucks so much. All right, give me at least a purple. Give me something. Don't make me go over 20. Let's see. Wow. 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 Seven more. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. What cursed pulls. All right, here's someone new. Lathander. We do need ice. He's a support. I've never heard of him. Um, like Adolphus, Voresh, these top ones, uh, Fur Furrath, um, Garius, these ones I hear about, right? Because they're the best epics. So I can't imagine he's that amazing. But let's see, let's see. I know the game well enough to be able to read a kit. Let's see. Ooh, I want to click myself, not not him. When an enemy dies, the hero gains the remaining ultimate energy. Interesting. Can he put out some DPS? Deals cold damage to the enemy with 30% chance of inflicting frozen. Frozen is different than frost. Deals cold damage to enemies with a 75% chance of inflicting recharge speed penalty accuracy. So he's like a PvP hero. Let me know. Maybe he could be really good for PvP. I'm not sure. All right, six more. I think we should be good for one more epic at least. Wow, man, that sh that Sharlock thing is uh, man, that really that really uh yucked my yum. That really that really. Oh, did I just put? I think I just clicked five pull. Whoops. Well, we're doing a five pull. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. My bad. I must have clicked summon again. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Sorry I'm not being very interesting or eloquent. I don't have much more to say besides, oh my god, that sucks. I really wasn't expecting a legendary. We hit it super early, and then it was that. Yeah, it was that. It was that. That's what it was. There's a purple. Come on now. All right, and he's a dupe. Pargu. Um... Cool. Two more. Man, uh, I was hoping for a more upbeat, exciting video. It's not what we're getting here, folks. That's not what we're getting here. No, sir. You never know. We could get lucky. We got one more shot. One more shot. I'm going to be honest and do exactly the 20 I said. I'm not going to do any rage pulling. That ain't me. Not today. That ain't me. And blue, but of course. But of course. So not too much. Let me know about Lathander, guys, if you think he's pretty cool. I think we'll end it right there. Definitely let me know if you have ideas about the ancient battlefield or just general ways I should be focusing my progression, where you think I should be farming, stuff like that. 
I'll actually scroll. I'll move myself to the center really quick to finish this off. Let me just scroll through my list. Let me know if anyone catches your eye, uh, veteran players. Let me know uh, if anyone uh, jumps off the page to you, someone you think is a must build. I just started building a few new heroes. Here's Lathander. Here's the new guy. The, the only guy we got today. Literally, the only new epic or legendary we pulled. That's who I'm cooking with. That's what we got. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to play Dragonair Silent Gods with me, I'm sure you'll have much better luck than I have had. I'm certain I'm certain of it. So definitely use the link in the description, top and comment. Download the game. It's on Epic Games. It's on Steam. I've been Vestidious. Subscribe, comments, all that good stuff. Share it with your mother, and I'll see you real soon. Fastidious.